Hi, it's Kendra here with May Arts Ribbon, and today we're going to be making these sweet little flowers right here out of inch and a quarter silk ribbon that's just white. We're going to use um, turquoise blue, blarney, and beetle black for our colors. And we're going to use the Tombow Mono Adhesive Power Bond Tape Runner. And um, I've already gone ahead and sprayed our ribbons. I've made the green ones already, as you can see here. And I'm going to show you how to make the blue and the black flowers. Let's start with the blue one. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Power Bond, and on one side of the ribbon, we're going to attach um, some adhesive. And I find that if I go in short strokes, it works a little better with this. I just need it on one edge. When I get that, if I have any adhesive that has gone over the edge, I can just flip this over and pick it up. I'm using a non-stick mat, by the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just start taking this and just kind of crinkling and folding it. You want to kind of give it some crinkles and folds in here as you're turning it. As you can tell, this tape is pretty sticky, which is perfect for this. And we're just making a little, kind of like a little rosette. You want to keep turning and turning until you've got it, or like you want it. Then I'm going to take this adhesive again, and I'm going to put two little strips down here on my mat. And I'm going to sit my flower down in that glue and kind of just mess with it a little bit. Um, if I need to, I can add more adhesive here and there until I get it exactly the way I want it. Once I have it that way, I can just lift this up and this can go over to my project kind of like a sticker. I'm going to put just a, one more little strip of tape on this. And then we're going to just tuck this little flower in right, make sure you all can see, right over here. We just want to tuck that down in next to the word canning. Okay, now let's do the black one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use our tape runner and we're going to put a strip of tape down along our edge. Once we've got our tape down, we're going to start folding again. And remember, we want kind of a flat looking flower, so the more folds and crinkles you can get into this, the better. You almost can't see. And we are just making a loose flower. When you've got that, once again, you can put your tape down, two strips of tape, kind of lay your flower in it, play with it a little bit. So you get it exactly the way you want it. Like if I had this piece right here sticking up a little bit and I don't like that, I can add another little piece of tape in there and kind of tuck that down in there. Okay? So we can lift this up, get all that tape, bring this over to our project, and just tuck it in there. So now we've got um, three sets of flowers, and we're ready to start assembly the assembly of our book. 